Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to simplify variable expressions with roots. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given two problems here, simplify the third root of y to the 18th power, and the fourth root of z to the 8th power. Okay, let's go with our first one right here, the third root of y to the 18th power. Notice it's an odd root here, so we don't have to worry about absolute values or anything, or really don't have to think about that, okay? Because we know we can take the odd root of a negative number. Well, from here, I really want to see, well, what number to the third power gets me y to the 18th? And that actually is if I have y to the 6th power, all to the third power gives me a y to the 18th power. And this is another way, instead of our factor tree, to do this y to the 6, remember our exponent rules, we multiply the exponents to simplify, 6 times 3 is that 18. So really we have three pairs of y to the 6 power going on here. So we can kind of see that as a factor tree going on here. The third root of y to the 18th power, we just grab all three of them and keep one. And so the third root of y to the 18th power is just y to the 6th power here. Now, the second one here, we have an even root, so we kind of have to worry about, well, the absolute values. We'll see where we get at the end. We want to ask ourselves again a question. What pairs of 4, right, gives us z to the 8th power? How can we simplify that? Well, if I have z squared all to the 4th power, that's equal to z to the 8th power, right? 2 times 4 is that 8. So again, we have 4 pairs of z squared. Man, my z's look like 2's. Good thing I have a little dash through it. We have four pairs of z squared. <laughs> that could be a good band name. Four pairs of z squared. And we circle them. We can see that there. And so the fourth root of z to the 8 just ends up being a z squared. And here you can see we don't need to worry about the absolute value because any number squared is always going to be positive. And there we have it. I hope you learned something here on how to simplify variable expressions with roots. And if you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.